everybody, welcome back to RPL Yutsubi's YouTube channel or IGTV. In today's science lab, we're going to make a fun project. This is different than the other project. We are going to make this marble trinket dish, but you can use anything. You can you don't have to use for um, jewelry, you can use for knickknacks or whatever you have, paper clips and stuff like that at your desk. Okay? It's really easy. So all you need is this sculpting oven bake clay because we're going to bake it in the oven. So I got these 8 ounces, the white one, and then you can choose basically any color you like, but I got purple, pink, gray, teal, and black. I would suggest to get black because we're going to use a little bit of black, okay? And then I, if you have a container at home, a glass container that works, and then a lid like so, so we can trace it. And then we're going to use a glaze. This is a glaze, but it's an optional. It's for the end of the project, but if you don't want to use glaze, that's fine too. Doesn't really matter. And then we need paint brushes and then exacto knife or plastic knife will work too. Just be very careful for younger kids. I don't want you to cut yourself. So just be very careful. Have us older siblings or parents to help you. Okay, and then it's optional too. We have tempera paint. This is in silver, but you can use gold if you want. And then we have a bowl. So I suggest you use a ceramic bowl instead of plastic bowl. So, okay. All right, without further ado, so you're going to uh, use your exacto knife and then you're going to cut your um, clay just a little bit. You don't need much, like so. Okay. And then be very careful gently and then peel it off like that. Okay. So you want to roll it up with your hands, like that. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect as long as you can stretch it and then make into 6 inches, like I make it here. So I have 2 6 inches of the white one, 6 inches of the teal, purple, and black like so. Okay? And then what you want to do is, you want to make it into like a twister. So. So you put all together gently and I would suggest you to use wax paper so it's not sticking on the table okay and then you twist it like twister this you know like making a play-doh but this is uh, a clay so same basic see how much fun is it yeah the color pops up so. and after that when you already twist it like so and you want to stretch it so it's double the length, almost reach like 12 inches, like so. And then you make a snake. I know, most of us probably don't, don't like snake. Oh my gosh, I hate snakes. How about you, Miss Nancy? Do you love snakes? No, I hate snakes. They are <laughs> awful, but this is such a cool project. Okay, so you make a snake like so. And when you satisfy with the color on both sides, and then you make a bowl. Knead it with your hands until you're happy with the color. As I said, it doesn't need to be perfect as long as you're happy with the color. This is your project, so you can be as creative as you want. Okay, like this, okay? If you don't like it, there's a lot of whites in here, and then you can mash it together, so. Okay, so I like it, my purple to be in the middle and my teal around the edges like that. When you're happy with your color, you take your glass jar, or if you don't have a glass jar, you can use rolling pin at home. I use rolling pin at home, but it's like one fourth inches of thickness, and then six inches across like so. Okay. Switch it out a little bit like that. Okay. Once you're done, and then you take your lid, and then use it as a tracer. You trace it with your exacto knife, or plastic knife works. I would think a butter knife would probably work. Oh yeah, butter knife probably works better. If you have. Okay, so you're done. Pop it off. Look like something like this, okay. Okay, once you have your shape, and then you put it in a bowl, this, this is probably a bigger bowl, 
It should be ceramic bowl if you want to put it in the oven and then you put it in the oven because we don't have oven here in the library for 15 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Okay, and once you're done, it will look something like this. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, ending project one. It's already half paint and uh, glaze on it. But then you take, this is how your paint brushes will work. So you take a little bit of glaze, just probably a little drop like so. And then you take your paint brushes and then you just uh, brush it off like so. Okay, and then it doesn't need to be perfect, just put a little gentle touch on your dish. Okay, and then you wanna leave it until it's dry about half an hour. And then if you fancy to do so, you can take another brush, take your paint, and then brush it off the edges to make it fancy. Like so. Okay. So about that now. So there you have it. This is your uh, marble tinker tray. So let's see how pretty that is. So. That is so cool, Miss Roz. Thank you. <laughs> So you can use it as a gift to your mom for Valentine's Day yesterday or birthday gift, whatever you like to do, okay? So until next project, I hope you're watching our Make It Monday because we're making edible craft. And then don't forget to watch our story time too. Until next time, I'll see you guys very soon. Have a good day.